We've got some custom work to do today. The third custom client I have uh, are our sheep neighbors. They raise uh, sheep, some market sheep and stuff and do some sheep dog stuff. They just have some pastures and they don't get hay made uh, consistently like our other two neighbors do. This year though, their first cutting was really light. So they want us to come through and make another hundred bales for them. So yeah, we're gonna do it. It may not really be worth our time, but we're gonna do it anyway for them. Um, so we're gonna hook up the tractor here to the disc line. I gotta do some shuffling around. Then we're gonna go mow some meadows. Last time I mowed with this thing, it was making like a squeaking sound somewhere back in there. I kind of suspected it might be a roller bearing, but uh, hoping that nothing's wrong. I greased it then and it seemed to be okay. So we're gonna hope and pray that nothing's wrong with it. And uh, yeah, just fingers crossed, right? <laughs> Just finished mowing. As far as the squeaking on this mower, I heard it once, but then I didn't hear it. And it was only when I went through a really thick spot. So I'm not sure. I wanna say it's something in the rollers. Anyway, this stupid thing here likes to leak and it's driving me batty. So a little update on the hay rake. It's been a while since we talked about it and no, it has not moved. So I've been running a roller bar rake from a neighbor for a while. We just have not gotten around to this project. And the big problem is this freaking gearbox. We cannot get this gearbox off this shaft. This shaft is keyed on two sides, one here and one here. So we can't like twist it off the shaft. It has to come right up. Well, we're a small farm. We're still establishing ourselves right. And there are still some things that we don't have available to us. One of those things is a crane hoist and another is like a torch. So I have no way of applying good leverage on this and I have no way of heating this piece up. And this, this gearbox is cast. So it's a very heavy, thick piece of metal. So I have no way of getting this off. We even put the loader, the Agco, brought it in here, chained it up and tried to lift it off and pound it off. It did not work. So I just gave uh, a local shop a call. They do all of our equipment work. You know, They did all the work on the uh, 966. They do good work. They do service calls. They're close by. We can even drive our equipment there if we have to. I just called him and it's one of those weird calls. I was like, hey, hi, I'm in this. It's a weird call. Can you come and get a gearbox off for me? And he's like, yeah, we'll do that for you. So they're going to bring a truck out and Hopefully get this thing off for me. They have torches and you know, they'll be able to get it off hopefully. So that's gonna be the plan there. That's all they're doing is getting the gearbox off for me. Sounds silly, I know. And then we have all the parts here. Um, this big plate here, the, the roller coaster. Thing. I think it's all the parts I need. There might be some that I still have to order yet, um, but it's all the parts for the internal there. If you wanna check out what actually happened to this rake, watch this video up here. I did a rundown of actually what happened, how it happened and the complete destruction I did to the inside of that rake. So they're gonna get that off hopefully next week and then we'll get this rake back together. <laughs> If anybody's getting into hay and they want a good baler that uh, is a decent size, can bale a lot of hay, but's uh, still on the smaller end and is a reasonable price, New Holland 316. Been a great baler. So we're gonna go rake some hay. Uh, it's whatever, I don't know how many acres, four acres maybe, five, I really don't know. But uh, the front field out by the road uh, did half of that field. And uh, there's some hay there. It's not super thick, but there's some hay. Backfield here right behind the barn is pretty thin. There's some thick spots, but it's a very thin field. So it's pretty much ready to go. Yesterday evening, I checked it. And I would say it's probably about 20% yesterday evening and uh, heavy dew this morning, but uh, it's been sitting out in the sun, hot sun for a couple hours now, and it's been breezy. So dew's burn off and starting to dry down. We're gonna rake it up into rows and should drop a couple more points and then we'll bale it this afternoon. done raking it took me a lot longer than normally does because some of the spots are a little wet and i went over and uh had to rake them once and then let them sit for a half hour and then rake them again also i was like quadrupling i was i was like raking 10 rows together because the stuff was so thin i actually ran out of gas 
and then I had to put some new gas in it. So now I got to go up and get my pickup, which is all the way, way out yonder. Yeah. This is what we're looking at as far as the backfield. This is the really thin field, but uh, that way right there is like all of this and like a, it's, it's like 10 rows right together and it's only that big. So there ain't much hay out there, but it's something.